passion on that face, those hands come up there, you just they just open this up. And again, how many times, as many times as it takes, honestly, I am dropping <laughs> correct. I am kicking them so many times they go to the ground. My number one favorite technique that I teach, how do I really make sure that they don't come after me? Drop them. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Smash. Mm. You ever going to get charged for trying to kill somebody for smashing their Achilles? Mm. No. Stop. What are you What are you actually telling the courts? What are you actually telling the people that you smashed them in the ankle? You were trying to do what? Protect, protect yourself. yourself. Affect your escape. Protect yourself. Okay? Nobody walks up. No. <laughs> you're trying to show you're affecting your escape. That is the perfect way right there to affect your escape. I had one of my best friends growing up. He, he was a, a really, really, really good uh, nationally ranked racquetball player. And he snapped that Achilles in college in great shape. And it took him surgeries in a year before he could run. Tons of, and it was young and in shape. So you smash somebody in that Achilles, you take that out. Good. If they limp the rest of their life because they tried to rape you, that's a good thing. I want them to be the person that wakes up every morning and their ankle's killing them because they tried to hurt you. Good. That's the least of the concerns. When they get out of their cell and lean over to climb out of the... Good. Good. That's the perfect thing. So when I get a hold of them like that, they are now... You know, they, they, they miscalculated there because what they thought was a victim turned into a honey badger. Okay. And you attack, 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 attack to do what? Affect that escape. 